I feel like I am in a little town in Tuscany and I am with Chef Alessandro Cartumini. He's here to show us how to make the perfect panini, correct? Yes. Okay. And this is a wonderful Italian spread. Yes. Uh, so what are we going to do? Where do we start to make that panini? Yeah, we're going to do a Parma ham panino okay. with a fresh provolone cheese, arugula and roasted bell peppers mm -hmm. with actually uh, garlic, basil and parmesan aioli. So I'm going to start with the aioli. Let's start so I with get the some aioli. fresh chiffonado basil, which means like julienne basil right there. I'm going to okay. put a little bit of mayonnaise in there. All right. A touch of uh, lemon zest, you know. Lemon zest. So that's just the, the skin from the just lemon. Just the skin from like a micro plant, you know, like those graters. All right. A little bit of the parmesan cheese oh. in there. And you can use, you know, even a dry cheddar cheese is good. Okay. And like fresh garlic, you know. I like to either you chop it or you can either uh, use a microplane. Again, the same grater for the cheese. Okay. A little bit of pepper in there. Pepper Black nice. pepper. Because so sometimes white pepper is all too strong. All right. And, so, and just a touch of salt, you know. Just salt. And we can mm -hmm. make some little extra virgin olive oh. oil. Actually, so that's your aioli. That's that, going to that be, be the spread. Aioli. Yeah, that okay. will be the spread that is going to go on oh, this uh, focaccia bread. bread. Actually, we, mm. we just bake it this morning. Oh my gosh. Yeah. See, it, this so, just smells so great. Yeah. You just oh. want to make sure you're mixing that well. Okay. Incorporate all the ingredients. A nice spatula. Oh, you use a little spatula. Spread evenly it spread it. Panini. See, so that'll the, help you. You got the basil there as well. Okay. And, and so the cheese and, the, and I think the citrus in there is going to help uh, lighten oh. up the, the ham as well. All right. So, and so we and use this is done. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm prosciutto. just going to build the panini with the fresh prosciutto. Mm, you know, yes. prosciutto, when I was growing up, was the big treat. We got wow. it on Sundays. Every Sunday, we'd each get, there were seven of us. We'd and get, we get like, it today. Three, and today. <laughs> now it's, yes. So it has a special place in my heart. So we're gonna put grilled bell peppers. So the peppers, I just grilled them before. Okay. Then I took the seeds out. All and right. I took uh, the core, the, the white part of the, the pepper inside. Because it's kind of bitter, so you want it to be a sweet panini. Okay, and you could even uh, what, buy peppers if you don't have time yeah, to do it. Yeah, I mean, sure. in a jar, under sure. oil, they're yeah. fine. And then I'm going to put the arugula right in the middle. Okay, and why in the middle? So that because when it doesn't get wilted? Exactly, it doesn't get too wilted. wilted, you know, and then provolone cheese mm. on it. Oh. And then I'm going to finish it with a little bit more of the, your favorite, you my know? Fa oh, I really. Your favorite. It and just brings back childhood memories for some reason. You know, we're Italian, we used to go to this deli. Yes. And, mm. and then, you know, we just close it, we just slightly press it just uh, okay. enough to, to hold it together. And we're going right. to put it in our panini machine. Or we can use a cast iron pan as well with a little weigh on it. One it's, of the two. It works okay. perfectly. All yes. right, great. So let's and go about, ahead and, yes. and do this. Yes. I'm going to let you put yes. this in, I'll and I'm going to go ahead yeah. and lift it. And about three minutes. Three minutes. And then, you know, there's different, there's like a... Foreman grills, there's all yes, kinds of grills that you can do. Those are fine, you know, and, and just press a little bit on it so okay. you kind of get the, the way at the beginning and then it, and it goes by itself. Yeah. Here's one that's already yeah, done. That one we just made, actually. All right. And, uh, so just, you want to make sure there. that it's nice and hot in the middle okay. because the bread, the, uh, the, the cheese will melt inside. Mm. So For some reason, it feels more of a meal when it's warm. It yeah, just mm, melts it in the cheese. This looks great. And okay. then we're going to serve with a beautiful uh, mixed olive salad, which uh, I made with uh, roasted shallots a little bit of garlic, chili flakes, okay. tangerine and orange zest, and a little bit of uh, rosemary, rosemary in there. Rosemary, fresh rosemary. Mm. And it's like a warm olive salad oh. and goes very well with the panino. Okay, and so then what would we do? We would go ahead and, and these yeah. are the lettuce that we we're would just gonna We're gonna play the salad, so, okay. and just put oh. the panino on it. There we go. Oh, interesting, okay. There we go. And there we are. And Yum. Just, and and then you and get the little pick. pick. Oh, Bella. Okay, now do I get to try this, of right? Course. So I'm going to go I ahead mean, and yeah. take a little bit. Okay, buon appetito. Salute. Buon appetito. Salute. <laughs> to the panini. <laughs> mm, this is so delicious. Mm -hmm. Definitely not the panini I grew up with, the prosciutto sandwiches. This is a real deal panini meal, and I thank you so much You're for welcome. being here and sharing your panini real deal meal.